A few moments later. What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite trucker. I'm back, man. Um, on this thirsty therapeutic Thursday, you know what I'm talking about, man. Um, God is good all the time, you know what I'm talking about, and especially today. You know what I'm saying? It's been a great start to a great morning already, man. Um, what time I get up? I got up about mm, 11. No, right there back. Got to about 10.45. Got about 10.45, 11. Kind of got my day going after that. Um, got me a little ab workout in. Uh, got into my daily devotion. Um... Got to my pre-trip. Um, did my pre-trip, and I got to my first stop at 12:48. Got there at 12:48. Went inside. Um, she told me what door to get to. She told me to get to door 14. I was like, "Well, is there a truck there at door 14?" She says, "Okay, well, I get to door 16." I said, "Okay, cool. I get to door 16." And um, it was a tight one. Um, definitely a tight one, man. You know this particular location. You know, um, it's not one of my favorites because they don't have uh, the, the best lighting. But, you know, you just got to take your time and get that thing in there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get paid. And uh, took my time, got that thing in there. Had assistance from another driver from like three or four trucks away. And uh, he came and helped me. Um, besides, the, the, you know, um, there was another Schneider driver next to me. Um, didn't really give a damn. Um, and that's okay. Um, but guy sent this guy, uh, and he helped me. Uh, he didn't have to. He really didn't. And uh, it was an owner operator. He came and helped me, man. And and I, I just can't thank God enough, man. Got that thing in there. Had a great setup, and um, we got that thing in there. You know what I'm saying? Got that thing in there. And uh, like I said, my appointment time was one o'clock, and she called me at one forty-seven. Said I got your paperwork, and I'm like, what? I'm done. Bye. You know what I'm saying? They got back to the uh, got to the Irving location. Oh, before before I left, I started watching um, uh, this Netflix series. I uh, think I'm on episode four. Um, it's called Black Lightning. I really like it a lot. Um, I hadn't watched it in a while. Um, shout out to Coach Jenkins, um, Samuel Blackston Jenkins, uh, who told me about this uh, three years ago, uh, pretty much, and I've been hooked ever since. And um, I really like it, and I'm going to watch some of it right now because I'm here at my second stop. Um, actually, yeah, I'm about to watch some of it right now because I was watching it while I was getting it was getting me unloaded and finished it before I even got, the, got into the episode good. You know what I'm saying? Like 15, 20 minutes into it, I'm like, damn, it's time to go already? Bye. And then went to Irving, dropped it empty, um, picked them unloaded, and I'm here in Arlington. Um, Visa Star, I think that's what it's called, um, here. And... Um, Appointment time is at 7:30, but they don't start receiving until f between 4 and 8. So hopefully I can get in there about 4:15. 4, 4, um, kind of give some time to you know warm up. You know what I'm saying? Um, then get in there and get to the door and uh, get out the stain um, as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause that's all they got me listed for today was these two loads, and we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I reach out and say I want something else. Well, I'm just going to chill on it. I don't know. We'll see. Because they got to be starting too early. They might not work so much. But I'm trying I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get it in. So <clears throat> if I can, I can. If I can't, I ain't. So I'm not going to argue. Um, pro. We'll see. But like I said, I'm going to get to this episode a little bit before they uh, before they open. Uh, here at 4. It's like 3.30 now. Let me see. 3:36 now, so I can get a few minutes in before they before they uh, open up and and get ready to get this thing unloaded. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, it's a beautiful morning, already a start to the morning, and it's gonna be a good day. I'm telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a good day, man. We're gonna get to it, man. Get to the bag. You know what I'm talking about? The bag of blessings, man. Cause everything else will come into play afterwards. You know what I'm talking about? So uh huh. What's good, y'all? Reporting live from the gridiron. Um, they just gave me a call at 551. It's 620 now. Uh, gave me a call at 551. So my paperwork's done. Uh, come get it. Um, 
went to go get it. Uh, sent my DBL a, a, um, a email, letting them know that, hey, I've completed all my tasks for the day, and um, I can't update my net because it was pushed out to 9.15. Um, still got, I got seven hours and 58 minutes. I'm trying to get some work in. Um, if you can't give me nothing, that's fine. I'll go back to the OC and I'm kicking it for the day. I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to be up, let's roll. You know what I'm talking about? You know how we do. You know how we do. You know how we do. So I had to buy back some time. Went to go swoop out the trailer. You're supposed to, but I usually don't because usually I have stuff to do. But today I had some time. And now um, I'm probably going to get back into sleeper berth and kick it for a bit until I hear something. Um, cause there's no guarantee that I will hear something for us getting a next load. Um, I could bounce and head straight back to the OC, but I'm not trying to do that just yet. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to hold off just a little bit. Just keep that faith that, uh, I'll get a little something. Maybe go to a Grand, a Grand Prairie box, take it back to the, uh, plant and I'll be good to go. You know what I'm talking about? Like something light like that. You know what I'm saying? That's better than nothing. You know, uh, it's a win. So, um. Yeah, like I said, for back in the sleeper breath and kick it, man. I might even give me a little shitty kitty, aka close my eyes for a bit until I hear that uh, my tablet go off, say a uh, new pre assignment, uh, if that comes. Then to mess around and go to sleep and really be out, out. So I don't know. That's just a chance to take at this point. But we rolling, man. It's 621, man. Doesn't seem the sun go. Well, no, I didn't see the sun go down. I was asleep before it went down. I've been up before the sun came up, you know what I'm talking about? So, it's just how we do it, man. No complaints. Just get the job done, you know what I'm talking about? So, until the next episode. Uh -huh. Later. What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite truck. I'm back, man. I'm back at the OC. Safe and sound, man. Um, got them bags under my eyes. I ain't talking about sleep. I'm talking about the money bags. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm going to get into the bag today, man. Um, blessed to be it. Blessed to do it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, shoot, from the last time we spoke, man, I can't even remember where we, where we last left off, man. Uh, or was I doing when I, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time we spoke, I was in Arlington, man, trying to get another load, man. Um, I had to send an email and then it went through and got I got my next load it was like at 720 came through um, then I had to go um, back to Irvin drop the empty pick up the loaded once I picked up the loaded and I was going back to Roanoke you know how that that is up there at Martin Brower man you know you ain't there no longer than two 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 and a half hours you know what I'm saying I was there about an hour and a half or so um, in and out um, got my next load um, got it now. Um, it's uh, a <clears throat> it's another it's a 2 a.m. Uh, 2 a.m. Uh, appointment time over there on Mountain Creek Parkway. Um, you know, as I was over at Irving, man, um, I talked to my DBL man, and uh, he was saying that you know things are looking looking up for me to get back on on the road, get back on the get back on the regional route, and. Um, I'm, thankful to hear that to be honest with you you know what i'm saying i'm <clears throat> very thankful to hear that uh, but we'll see when it happens next week and you know, i'm not gonna hold my breath at the same time as like i told my pops um if they don't hear you know my demands i gotta look elsewhere you know and i talked to uh hogan transport today and um since i do have my six months under my belt going on seven now um they are they offered me a Dollar Tree account, which was touch freight. Um, the starting base pay was 94 cents a mile. 94 cents a mile. Just to say, what if I did, I averaged 15 to 2,000 miles per week. Um, she said, you're going to average at least two to three loads. Um, $30 for every stop, then $100 for every trailer I had to unload. So, say you do 15... 15, between 1,500 and 2,500 miles in a week. That's 15 to 1,600 right there off the rip. You feel me? Off the rip. Then you're talking about an extra 100 for every time I got to unload. Then another 30 for time I got to stop. Banking in the cash, man. Banking in the cash, man. And I'm like, interesting. 
And I, how long was orientation? Six hours online. And they got the, you know, the new internationals and the freight liners. And I'm like, and that was the, the headquarters was up in, <clears throat> where I'll be picking up at, be in Marietta, Oklahoma. And I'm like, okay, something to think about, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate all that. I got your personal number. I'll reach out to you if I, my, my mind changes. But definitely something to look, hold on to. You know what I'm saying? 94 cents a mile? What? Are you serious? 94? I ain't talking about the year. I'm talking about the damn near a dollar a mile. You feel me? A dollar a mile damn near. But it goes back to that experience. Once you get that magic number for certain companies, you know what I'm talking about? Then things change, bruh, man. You know what I'm talking about? Bruh, 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 bruh. You know what I'm saying? So, man. But like I say, man, I got my, my load for tomorrow. It's at 2 a.m. It's a drop and hook, you know, over there in my car, Mountain Creek Parkway. Then I got my next one after that's at 8 a.m. Um, so, you know, that's going to make for a short day. Um, makes for a real short day. And then I'm off on Monday. You know what I'm talking about? Because my DBL, he forgot. He was like, yeah. He said, yeah, be ready to work Monday. They're gonna, they're gonna, you know, since it's the holiday and stuff, I'm like, I'm off Monday. I said, I, I did it way in advance, bruh, man. <laughs> Way in advance, so now he's like, "Good deal, good job." I'm like, "And you notice, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm already in advance, baby. But I gotta put my truck in the shop, and while I'm gone, I gotta get some personal maintenance on it. Um, get that done on it, so I'm gonna make me a little list. So whenever I do turn it in, because I got some things that I need to get fixed." While you know, while I'm gone, so I get ready to get back on the road. You know what I'm talking about? So I had no issues, no issues, no issues, no, 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 no issues. Um, so yeah, man, just ready to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? But first things first, I'm gonna eat, give me a little lunch slash dinner in my system, go to sleep, then I'm gonna wake up, take me a shower, and then I'm get ready to. Knock out Friday, you know what I'm talking about? But today's done, man. The haze in the barn for the day. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. The hay is on the flatbed. We're getting it transported to the barn. You know what I'm saying? We're almost there. We're almost there, man. But yeah, I'm back at the OC, man. Blessed. But I'm going to tell you, this uh, pineapple mango uh, lemonade from Wendy's, slap. Straight slaps. I don't care what nobody says. Thing slaps. Slap. Got my new drink now. Man. Especially if I was on a weekend vibes. You already know what that's mixing with on the weekend. I can't do it during the week, man. It's only that's only that's only that's my dessert for the weekend. You have a good week, you get you get to, you know, taste taste some of that uh taste some of the devil's nectar on the weekend but not during the week no not while i'm on duty no sir not me but you know all in all man so it's a good day man it was a good day man got three loads in got my fourth one on me but ain't until tomorrow so it's a win my nigga just win so i feel like i said i'm finna eat relax nap then get up and shower and kind of go from there man so um, continue to do your research, man. Continue to have the belief, man. And continue to, to, to strive forward, man. Despite, you know, those those uh, voices, those thoughts, and, and the people that might be not in your corner. Keep going, man. Keep going. If God's for you, he's damn sure in and against you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we got to rock it to the wheels fall off, baby. So I'm going uh, to... Get 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 back to business and eat, chill, and, and uh, end this day on a good note. You know what I'm talking about. So until the next episode. Uh -huh.